YouTube, my name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Now today I thought I was going to be working on an index card, but I got distracted because I decided to revisit my last index card wherein I created some loose watercolor florals and do some more. I was really curious because on the project of my last index card, I didn't gesso this paper and it was a simple card stock. So I'm going to take the same card stock and this time I'll add gesso to see if there's any difference. Once the gesso is dry, I'm going to get a flat surface to draw on and isn't that fox adorable? I have a thing for foxes maybe. <laughs> And I'm going to get that Micron pen with that archival ink in it and start some doodling. Now I don't have a flower in mind. These are just loose fantasy florals. Once they're drawn, I'm going to go ahead and take my Jane Davenport watercolors and get them wet with a spritz of water. And then I'm going to try painting and see what I can come up with. The paint, the watercolors do react differently with gesso. And this is just cardstock. So I'm just experimenting and seeing what I prefer. I don't have a lot of experience in watercoloring, but I've had these palettes for some time and they've been on the back burner. But my last project really inspired me to go digging into the watercolors again and I'm enjoying the process much more than I thought I would. Watching the colors meld together is soothing and I enjoy it very much.
Once this uh, floral is done being painted and I'm setting it aside to dry, I'm not quite ready to stop. <laughs> so I'm going to take this pad of watercolor paper and I'm going to just draw more flowers. <laughs> <laughs> now I did not gesso this paper and in retrospect I wish I had gessoed at least half of the paper so I could have seen the difference. I'm going to continue to draw all of these florals and then I'll do the same watercoloring techniques. Once everything is dried, I decide that I'm going to spend a lot of time <laughs> and I'm going to fussy cut all of the flowers, florals and greenery. And once they're cut out, I'm going to take Faber-Castell's artist pen in black and go around all of the edges to get rid of the white border. And 
And as a final touch, I'm going to take the Sharpie uh, fine, ultra fine tip pen there and add some sketchy marks on these florals to give it a more finished look. And I love the result. <laughs> I love the result. It turned out to be really pretty. I'm inspired to use these florals in a project and in fact I'm going to do an art journal page next so keep an eye on my channel there's a video coming shortly and I hope you like it as much as I did That's it for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching and encourage you to do all the YouTube things such as like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.